Here is an overview of the motion graphs for constant acceleration. It is to your benefit to first review the derivation of the equations for constant acceleration. By definition, constant means the same through all time. In this example, acceleration at time equals zero is three meters per second squared. At all subsequent times, it is also three meters per second squared. The graph of acceleration is going to be a flat line. Velocity will have an initial value and then a straight line with a slope equal to the acceleration. In this example, the velocity at time equals zero is negative two meters per second. The slope of the line from then on is three meters per second squared, such that the value of velocity becomes more positive with time. Position will also have an initial value, in this example starting at 4 meters. At time equals 0, the slope will be that of the velocity at that time. However, because of acceleration, the velocity and hence the slope will be changing. Because the relationship between position and acceleration is quadratic, this describes the shape of a parabola. When you need to check the relationship between any two of these quantities, it can help to superpose their graphs. Note that the velocity is independent of the initial value of the position and the acceleration is independent of the initial value of velocity. However, looking at the relationship in the other direction, notice that the slope of the velocity at all points will be the value of the acceleration at that time. When acceleration is constant, the slope of the velocity graph will also be constant. The slope of the position graph will be the velocity at that time. When the velocity values are negative, the slope of the position graph will also be negative. When the velocity crosses the zero point, that is when the position graph will be at minimum 
for positive accelerations or maximum for negative accelerations. When the velocity has a positive value, the position graph will have a positive slope. The exact shape of the graphs might vary if the acceleration is not constant with time. However, even then, the relationship of slopes holds. 